for the day here is going to be Imperio versus Millennium. We are going to be on the Grim Pantry here. And as far as our killer options, we do have the Clown, the Nightmare, and the Twins. Things. This is going to be a tough choice because we have seen the Clown uh, played on the Swamp Pier relatively recently. Uh, it seems to be able to have kind of on and off results. Of course, the Twins can always put pressure on multiple portions of the map. Uh, really acquire, uh, requires like the survivor side to have to like really make sure that their coordination and their communication is on point. Um, and then the Nightmare, of course, just has the ability to traverse the map relatively quickly here. So I'm going to be interested to see what kind of strategies our two teams do um, have planned heading in. Of course, it's going to be more so about what the killers uh, have planned up here. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to get this matchup set up for you guys, and we will be bringing y'all Imperio versus Millennium after a very quick break. All right, let's take another trip on back into the fog. You're gonna be on the Grim Pantry here, starting with Imperio's Killer. We're going to be seeing the Clown coming out, which is going to be a very interesting thing. Of course, the Clown does have the ability to shut down loops very, very quickly, especially since we're seeing that Gin bottle, which is gonna give us two additional bottles here in our kit as well and since we have unfortunately lost uh my brother my brother my partner in crime dire to a storm up in the mountains uh i would like to introduce you on the depths the man of many hats the organizer the producer and and, and now shoutcaster slow how you feeling bro i'm good i'm good uh, thank you for having me or i should say thanks you should thank me for having you here uh, we're gonna see Imperio vs. Millennium here and Oimer jumping into the locker. I would like to say something about this clown pick because you have the twins, right? And going for the clown pick is definitely more of a secure pick right here because against an organized team like Millennium, doing the twins pick is such a risky move that I kind of have to agree here with Imperio's pick for the clown. Um, but we actually saw that the Saboteur play coming in on the Shack hook here, but unfortunately it still is going to give the Clown a hook here on the docks close by. Corrupt still up, 90 seconds on the Corrupt timer over is a good time to have your first down on the Clown right here. Um, now taking the chase over into the main building, a hit and the save coming in. Not enough distance to go back and go for the tunnel though, unfortunately. Yeah, but I mean don't really i probably don't mind too much here as the killer right you're able to also come across the map here put pressure onto this generator that is knocking at the top of our main building here and we have two survivors over here and so while only actively going to be able to ch uh chase one you could be passively pressuring the other one here we don't see a uh, reset coming in across the map right away, which is kind of an interesting take here. I feel like you would want to at least get them healed since you know the chase is being taken over here, but we are going to see generator number one getting complete as we see Ace getting hit on the back with the first tonic bottle. We're going to see Nancy now taking the M1 here. That's going to at least extend this chase a little bit, but that is more time where you have two survivors not working on any of the generators while we do see generator number two popping off in the distance. Yeah, I'm a, I must say, compliment the good coordination on the hit taking here on the survivors of the Millennium side. But now, unfortunately, the Nancy is going down next to the main building. And we do see a generator there with about 50% progression close by on this hook. And I must say, this Scorch hook pick on the Clown right here is definitely some more of a risky pick as you don't normally expect to get many stages on the Clown. Um, but definitely an interesting pick, I must say, combined with the Rancor and the Noah and the third gen in the distance popping. And the Rancor value really, really, really playing up, uh, coming into play right now here on the Grim Pantry. Um, three out of four survivors are injured right now and one of them is on the hook. That is not a good position for Millennium to be in, as any chase can be a very detrimental one here for the survivors of Millennium. Now, taking chase on a very unsafe belt here on Grim Pantry and Ace going down after a beautiful mind game from Imperio's killer. 
Yeah, really beautiful mind game here. Going to be able to establish it down at the bottom of the pantry itself. It is going to be a little bit of a trek out here, but you're going to be able to get this hook right here on this side. I Looking around, it does seem that our survivors from Millennium have done a pretty solid job as far as the three gen. I guess you can kind of consider the two generators here on either side of the shack as well as the one in pantry, kind of a little bit of a three gen. And you can hear not, I mean, the one here that's in the middle is the one of the three with the most progress. So right now you can kind of monitor those as you get a little bit of progress, active regression after the kick, while also being able to patrol your hook here itself. So I'm kind of surprised to see our killer honestly pushing farther away. I feel like maybe at least securing the one stage could have helped you out. I feel like we're really, yeah, I was gonna say, leaving ourselves an opportunity on the backside here to allow for the save. And that is gonna be the Nancy now, unfortunately playing just a little bit too greedy here in the pallet space, going to be taking the first M1. Now seeing those tonic bottles getting thrown ahead of us by the killer. Nancy just gonna be forced to hold the ship W just out here gumping it to the corner. Gonna just try and make this process as long as possible. Yeah, the Nancy just trying to waste as much time as she possibly can as she knew that she would not make it to the main building as the clown has a few pink bottles in his repertoire right here. Um, I must say, recently we've seen Millennium on a roll stomping other tournaments and even winning them. Um, they are known for their extremely good coordination and chemistry in their team. Um, it's definitely for a team like Imperio, this is such a tough opponent to go in in round one of Beyond the Stars. And this killer game has gotten me really surprised, if I'm being honest with you, Q, that the killer is doing a phenomenal job at getting the stages and getting the hooks right here on the green country. As a clown, even, I must say, a generally weak, considered consider weak killer on uh, the list of killers. Um, now, the safe coming in on the Nancy here on the other side of the map, he has to stay here and try to commit to a chase that is not close to the Nancy, even though the Nancy would be dead on hook if I'm not mistaken. Um, and these bottles that the clown is throwing are absolutely phenomenal. And it's going to get a hit here on the Nia, but the Nia is not going to be able to make it anywhere, unfortunately. And it's just as the Nancy is going to waste as much time as she possibly can in the corner of the map here. Yeah, I mean, he's going to be doing a good job of pulling the aggro over this way. Also worth noting, after the save came in across the map, we haven't seen a uh, reset come in, right? Which does lead me to believe that our survivors from Millennium prioritizing the work on the objective as there is only one more uh, one more survivor or one. Uh, oh, wait a minute. He dropped and then cut into the adrenaline value here, which actually allowed for the Nia to be able to get up off of the ground that is absolutely huge here as now we are heading into the end game you do see that hey oh. status nice play i believe that is life proving to be life by the nancy to be able to get away here we have a pallet to still be able to play around by with the ace here but we really need to make sure that we're keeping the cheryl safe for the survivors because you've done a good job getting all five gems done you don't want to give over that very early elimination and that is already no way getting cleansed here by millennium as well yeah, very unlucky for the ace here. Noah getting cleansed right after he got down here. Um, and that adrenaline play coming in from the Nia there. I'm not sure if she was hooked before. I'm not sure. I don't think she was hooked before. And not sure why the killer decided to drop her right there. Uh, but I think the survivors are just going to opt out. Oh, Saboteur. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, the survivors of Millennium are just going to opt and to leave the trial right here. A good game for the clown and definitely sets the tone for the next trial coming in on the group pantry here with the possible kills of twins, clown, and the nightmare if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, a definitely phenomenal game to watch here from Imperium Millennium and Millennium has to watch out. Yeah, I mean, Millennium is going to need to make sure they come in because we know that this map, I mean, si you mentioned it, six stages on this map, especially for a clown, but just in general, a pretty strong result here. And because you were able to spread those pressure, you know, spread those fresh hooks, uh, it does mean that their killer is going to need to come in and be on their game. I would imagine that Imperio is going to be trying to play it as safe as possible. So I'm going to be excited to see what uh, killer we do see to come out here. Um, but let's just go ahead and get that lobby set up and we'll be bringing that match up to you guys after a very quick break.
And we're going back into the Grim Panther here. We're gonna see a different pick from Imperio here, the Twins pick. A little bit more risky, I would say, as you're not really knowing what the chemistry and coordination is on the side of Imperio. But we do find an early survivor here on the main building of the Grim Pantry. As I said, the Twins, a little bit more of a risky pick, but if it pays out in your favor, it's going to be a great match for you. Um, we do see now the baby being crushed on the main building and the Twins opting to go somewhere more near the extra gens as Ruin is still up combined with the Thanatophobia. A pretty generic build seen on the Twins, especially with the totem spots on this map being a little bit more on the killers than here. Oh, and unfortunately not going to be able to get the application on to the ace here. Going to be working over in this corner. Should be, oh, unfortunately getting caught on the uh, frames, I guess, of the as far as the side of the actual branch itself. Stopping the victor from the application. Here's going to be the first bit there. And one thing to keep in mind, you had talked about the Thananophobia, but we saw the very quick reset onto our... Uh, across the way if they can or i should say if they are able to reset quickly they, the the thananophobia won't be able to build you too much value right and this is one yeah. of those killers where i mean we, we're going to be seeing our teammates are going to probably start pairing up preparing for when victor does get released that way in case you miss you're able to come in and crush the victor and and be able to at least waste a little bit of time but right now honestly really good running from the ace here now actually going to be moving to the main building i think unfortunately got caught on the side of the actual uh the frame there coming around. Ooh, nice fake here. Good patience. Now Grenout is going to unfortunately allow just a little bit of distance. I do think though this will still result in a down here just before Grub Intervention is up. There's the first generator. I can't help but wonder though if we might be seeing a second though soon. Yeah, this is kind of the perfect early game you really want on the side of Imperio here, right? It's like your chase took over one gen and you don't really have a, you have a chase in the perfect position here in the corrupt side of the map um however ruin is still not found and as far as we know only one generator has popped so far um but we do see now the hook coming in and the corrupt intervention ending right there um twins player opting to go back on victor oh cast his curse and the next gen popping right in the distance there but we do see kind of a little bit of a tight gen here not the best three gen you can have as a twins as you normally like to play with the three gen as twins um, but we do see gen here in the corner on main building and close by the hook here so this is definitely something the twins can work with on this map um uh green pantry usually being a bit more of a risky map when it comes to twins as i said before as you normally don't really have a generic three gen somewhere here on the map uh, but we do see now the twins just camping this as her ruin is still up and she is free to pressure the generators as she pleases. Yeah, and you know, I, I like the choice, of course, coming in with the ruin. This is one of those maps that uh, does give you some notorious hidden on the uh, you know, around the outside totem spawns. It looks like that might be what's working in run out favor right now as that does require survivors really rotating away from the gens, which is less time working on the objective itself. I mean, we can anticipate, since we haven't really seen any of our other survivors since the first application onto the Atom moving in, we probably are looking at the Nancy and the Megan, both just doing the easy work, right? Holding M1, hitting some skill checks. We can hear this generator on the top has a whole lot of progress on it. Interesting to see though, it looks like we might've had those two survivors paired up on a gen instead of split up across the board, which could end up being a risky play, especially as we do now see three injured survivors across the board as we have the save. We're also getting a lot of value as far as from the instinct there with Victor on the back of our survivor. Now moving into the corner is the ace trying to continue the chase down is the Granite. This is a very long uh, tile to be dealing with here. We had also seen Victor struggling with some of the edges of the corners up here. Able to get the down though this time. That's going to be big. You do know you have somebody up on the here itself as well so we're going to be seeing grin out go ahead and not instantly go away actually able to get the application on the megan the question is how many survivors are up there because i think they're going to get this gen done yeah but this is kind of the perfect position for grin to be in right because your twins your ruin is still up your thanophobia is doing the work for you and you have an elimination on three gens but they do actually get this gen on the dock here and i would not be surprised to see another one popping in the future but three people injured and a survivor falling right back into the twins under the docks right here. 
And this is just gonna lead into a snowball fest if they don't get reset soon. Because three injured survivors against the twins is really, really risky here for the survivors. Um, and we do see this mag now going back right on the same hook as the first Adam was hooked on. Uh, not Adam, Ace, my bad. Um, and right now, what Grenow needs to do is find this possible reset happening somewhere in the map. Because if he finds that, that is going to be a party for him. Yeah, unfortunately, we do see, though, the Nancy already getting healed. Not sure if that's from a potential self heal or not. We do actually see both survivors right here going to be able to get the application onto the Nancy. That does mean that we're going to have an Adam right here in front of us on the main building. This is going to be tough. We do have the two windows over here. That's going to be a hit through the window itself. Get behavior, big boy. His body was facing this way. His head looking just like that. Able to get the hit, though. And now we do see dropping down. Not going to be able to get the hit. Is grin out but we do of course can are gonna have valuable information if we happen to lose sight because we do have victor on the back of our survivor here now moving down it's really just a matter of if or not if but more of a matter of when the down comes out nice hit here and unless there's an unbreakable this this is over yeah but the unbreakable is banned unfortunately for all right. survivors so the survivors are just going to get 4k here on one gen remaining and that is going to mark the win here for millennium as a 4k on one gen on twins as i said before the twins are definitely more risky pick but if it turns out in your favor you're going to be having a very good game on your side and it's exactly what happened um imperial survivors doing a really good job on the survivor side having a good early game but unfortunately letting the elimination happen in the match not getting ruined out of the way did not really help them in their favor. I must say though, the early game perfectly played by the survivors and exactly what you wanted. And Imperio, a little bit more of a nearest team we've been seeing in main stage of tournaments, have been absolutely putting up some good performances here and definitely earning their spots in the main stage as they had to go through the qualification stage first here. Um, but as I said before, wonderfully played by Imperio's killer and survivor here, but will unfortunately be moving into the loser bracket. Yeah, and I mean, it was this is one of those situations you talked about. Our survivors did do a very good job getting the pressure in the early portion of the trial. I think this was just a really good example of Cred and Gren out here, keeping it cool, calm, collect, keeping the game plan in mind. And then I think it was just a couple of mistakes there in the very end of the game where Gren was able to capitalize on those, shut this thing down before the last gen pops. And uh, you know, now now we're going to be able to see what Millennium does throughout the rest of the, the tournament, which will be exciting. But while we're talking about Millennium moving on, of course, we must move on as well through the tournament here and through our day. And what we're gonna be seeing next 